This is the South Carolina Freedom Summit, and you're in the Scrum Zone! Scott Walker, Marco Rubio, Donald Trump, Carly Fiorina, and more. So many media scrums, so many great opportunities for the press to get their questions answered. I'm going to try to get as close as I can and get my microphone as close to what he says. I'm more of a listener than a talker, so I, don't, I, don't, I usually don't ask that many questions. Let's see how close David can get to Governor Scott Walker in the first scrum of the day. Really smart move right here. He's camped outside the stage right exit before the scrum gets out of control. Looks like David is just introducing himself to Walker. Good strategy, playing the long game. That'll pay off later. Watch how David slows Walker down to maximize his time in the core. That's a strategy we've seen with veteran scrummers like Johnny Apple, Jules Whitcover, all the greats. How was the scrum zone with Scott Walker? Oh, it was, it was crowded, as you might expect. He's considered one of the top candidates. The core is a lot bigger now because everybody has a camera, it seems, these days, not just the television people. I just did what I wanted to do. just wanted to say hello and remind him who I was. That was my strategy. That Good thing David got in there early, because just moments later, the size of Walker's scrum exploded. Wow, this is now a multi-layer scrum. It's going to take a real athlete to force their way in there. I'm going to try to join the scrum and ask him some questions if we can. I want to ask him about immigration. He didn't mention it in the speech. It's obviously a big issue that he's kind of caught between Republican donors and Republican base voters on this one. So we'll see what happens. I have no secret weapon. I'm just going to try to be aggressive. Ooh, looks like he's trapped outside in the crust. Yeah, tough to break in to get close to Walker. Even David Jackson is on the outer layer. Here he goes. You can see Sahil squeeze into that magma layer. That is good maneuvering. Scrum goes the dynamite. It's looking to be a very physical day in South Carolina, and Sahil proves that he's got what it takes. Today, Scott Walker commanded the largest scrum, followed closely by Marco Rubio and Ted Cruz. But as always, in the zero scrum game, we take a look at the three smallest scrums of the day. John Bolton, Bobby Jindal, Where's the media scrum? <laughs> and George Pataki. <laughs> oh, it's almost too awkward to watch. We caught up with Governor Pataki afterward to get his reaction. I noticed no one was sitting down. That's fine. It's been a long conference, a lot of speakers. It's fine, I'm used to it. We see a lot of guys here get huge scrums, huge followings. Yeah. Not, nothing for you. How do you it's feel? Fine. It's what I expect. You know, you start at the bottom, you work your way up, and ultimately you win. The media had a lot of questions for Marco Rubio, earning him the second largest scrum of the day. My strategy is not dissimilar to what it is in the hallways of the Senate, which is to elbow past people and hope I can get in front of him. It looks like we've got a rare uh, double scrum. We've got Marco Rubio over there and Donald Trump right here. What do you do in this situation? With all due respect to, to Mr. Trump, I'm more interested at the moment in, in Senator Rubio. All right, Sabrina's in a good position. She's got her recorder out, she turns it on, but Rubio is on the move and she is stuck in the crust. Suddenly, the scrum loosens up and watch Sabrina's stellar hustle chasing him down the hallway. Sadly, to no avail. Wow, so no one here got anything out of Rubio. Actually, Griffin, roll that tape back because you didn't see these two staking out the Rubio scrum from the very beginning. And what is your goal uh, getting to the center, getting to Marco Rubio? What do you want out of this? Love to take a picture with him. How much time do you think you'll get? Uh, 30 seconds, maybe? Well, it looks like it's going to happen right now because he's done. Let's do it. Okay, yes. Watch this. Rubio, he's in a hurry to exit, but listen to their tenacity. Okay, can we, can we Whoa, right there. Take that home, frame it. That is going to be a beautiful souvenir. We we're short, so we were just like getting in there, you know, forcing our way in there. Yeah, like I could tell like in his eyes, like he, he really wanted to. <laughs> Those two identical young voters prove that you don't even need press credentials to get the most access to the candidate. We can all learn from that kind of persistence. The Pasdens are the winners of this week's Scrum Zone. They earned it. You know what that bell means. It's the closing bell with Dolph Bell, reporter for Greenville News. Okay, Dolph, what do you have to say about all the scrum action today? We've gotten to this point where we have to play this little game. I think it's unfortunate. I don't know if it's the best system. But it's a little fun, right? Oh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun, yeah. There you have it. The scrum zone is merely hastily assembled theater with the pretense of holding politicians accountable, although they're more likely to take a selfie. You're absolutely right, Matt. It is complete bullshit but an integral part of our democracy. We'll see you next time in the Scrum Zone. These are huge Scrum Zone winners today. Yeah, we, we nailed it. We nailed Thank it. <laughs>
Congressman King, congratulations on your performance today in the Scrum Zone. Thanks a lot. <laughs> okay, the Scrum Zone. Thank you very much. Scrum Zone features professional reporters and politicians. Do not scrum at home.